Hello everybody, Neon Wrangler, I'm back. It's been a week since my last video or so, and it's good to see you guys. Anyway, um, we're going to get right into it. We're going to talk about giants in Afghanistan. Right now, Afghanistan is a mess, as we all know. Don't need to go into detail. I just wish safety and uh, long life to, you know, anybody we can, and... Uh, that way I don't do politics on this show, I never will, I never have. Um, I also hope that any of you who are sick, uh, suffering from anything, are getting better. Got that out of the way, let's get right into this. Um, Afghanistan has an interesting history with some of its folklore and some of its um, cryptids and things like that. Um, I've heard about this years ago and not just now that Afghanistan is you know once again making the news but um, as you can see with what I've got here look at these tall folks these guys these giants standing next to a normal man Afghanistan has excuse me uh, Afghanistan has a folklore history of lots of giants being there and they take this folklore very serious um, and, um, there's been people, you know, Westerners that have gone there and, you know, uh, talked with them about it and asked some of the Afghanis who like to kid around, but they don't like to kid around about this. They claim giants anywhere from, you know, two, three, four, five, some, you know, 10 meters tall have existed, not just in the past, but within their lifetimes, within the lifetimes of their grandparents and their, and their, and their, um, their parents and things like that. People who have actually claimed to have seen these things. Um, and one of the, uh, first of all, one of the stories I'll uh, relate to you is about the giant of Kandahar. And that's uh, an alleged story that happened to some of our special forces over there who went into a cave and uh, to investigate it. And there was a giant, large red-headed giant with six fingers living in there, huge thing, impaled one of our special forces. It took 30 seconds of continuous fire to bring the thing down. They loaded it on a chopper and fled it back, not fled it, they took it back to one of the bases. Now, whether that's true or not, if it's true or if it's not true, we all know the government won't admit to it either way, even if it happened, you know, if it happened or it didn't happen. In fact, well, they, they probably would say it didn't happen, but um, there's no way you're going to get a straight story about that right now. Um, maybe in a hundred years, when we're all past, we'll hear the truth. Um, but there's records of giants all over that area. Uh, we have David and Goliath going back to the biblical times. We have other, there's other regional stories of these things all over the place. Let me show you some pictures. These two guys, they could possibly, I don't know if they're from Afghanistan, I forget where this photo is pulled from, but you can see what I'm talking about. This is not unusual to have large people. And I'm going to point something out here in a minute that I think is very interesting. You can see a very tall man, a normal man, and some rather short people here, um, you know, lined up for an old-timey photograph. Not quite so likely to be uh, fudged and, you know, photoshopped like we have today, today excuse me, today. Um, here's a very modern one. We got a very big guy, you know, <laughs> what looks like one of our, you know, one of our forces standing there posing together. Uh, this, again, this is from Afghanistan. This is a region, this is a region that has folklore about giants. I mean, and they say giants bigger than this fella here. Okay. Um, here's another big guy. <laughs> I'm going to serve in the, I can't serve in, you know, serve, wants to serve in the military. He's in there with his, com his comrades. Um, now here's one from Japan. This is an old time film that was taken of this very large Japanese giant walking down the street during a parade and sitting with some big dignitary Bignitaries. Hey, bignitaries, that's a new word I just made. But no, actually, this is from a really funny movie. It's called Big Man Japan. It's a it's a uh, parody of uh, kaiju films like Godzilla and stuff like that, which I love. I've seen, I've seen, I haven't seen the whole movie. I've seen a lot of it. It's pretty funny. Check it out if you can. But this, this photo, this, this, uh, when you see the video clip of this, it's done very, very well. But you see Big Man Japan there, uh, you know, in the parade. Here is another picture of Mr. Big Man Japan with the royal family or whoever these dignitaries are of the town. 
Here's, you know, I looked for some alleged proof of giants. Here's a big footprint in some stone. Is it legit? Looks like it could be. Um, I'd like, you know, hey, the thing about that happens, and we're going to get to in a minute, when you investigate this kind of stuff, you have skeptics and you have believers. And sometimes they're the exact same person. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, both of them are very invested in their point of view to the point where their minds are closed. You have believers who, no matter what, won't be convinced. You have skeptics, no matter what, won't be convinced. And basically, the same person, same mindset, but they just have different, they're just on different sides of the aisle. Okay, let's see what else we've got. This is another really interesting picture. This is a mastodon skull, you know, a mammoth. Um, when uh, people from the old world would dig these things up, they sure look like a human skull, don't they, with one big eye. Possibly where our tales of Cyclops came from. But um, we'll go back here. And then the, the people that killed, the, I had mentioned earlier, the special forces, the Kandahar giant. They went into this cave in Kandahar. They killed this guy and uh, this big giant, supposedly, and shipped him off. And they mentioned some interesting details about him. Like he had two rows of teeth in his mouth. He had six fingers, polydactylism. And believe it or not, Another famous character has polydactylism, but we don't ever show it in the movies because I guess it would be kind of pointless and hard to do. But in the books, Hannibal Lecter has six fingers, but he's not a giant. Anyway, the giant of Kandahar had six fingers on each hand, had two rows of teeth, would speak an ancient Hebrew-type uh, Middle Eastern language that they discovered and and uh, and had made some, you know, was yelling something at the uh, the special forces that was, you know, reminiscent of one of the ancient languages there. And they finally took him down and, like I said, killed him. I've said that enough times. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this is you look at, okay, here's, here's um, we're going to discuss uh, some science and then we're going to discuss some, you know, pseudoscience and crypto stuff. Scientifically speaking, when you look at a lot of these guys, They look, except for this one, and I'll explain that in a second, and not the, the funny one here. Scientifically speaking, these guys look almost normal. Now, there's a condition like Andre the Giant had. He had what they call acromegalia, or acromegaly. And these guys don't appear to have acromegaly that I can see. Acromegaly have a big, thick forehead, you know, big jaw, the face is grown out of proportion, and the body is shaped in a bizarre way. Um, these guys look almost normal, other than being extremely tall. They don't really look like they have acromegaly to me. Again, I'm a medical illustrator. I could be wrong. If a doctor's out there, chime in. You could correct me. But, um, you know, I did my <laughs> some of my medical work, and uh, I don't see acromegaly here, but I'm not the expert. I, I'm maybe a little bit of an expert on some things but in that regard, but I don't see acromegaly. Now, look at that. I don't see acromegaly there. Maybe a little bit on the nose on this guy, but he's still very tall, and uh, the ac people with acromegaly don't tend to live that long. Their bodies tend to kind of break down, and they're not don't tend to be shaped like that. They tend to be shaped more like Andre the Giant, if you remember what he looks like. You can Google him. I'm sure everybody knows Andre the Giant. If you don't, sorry. Um, Google him. Uh, this dude doesn't really seem to have acromegaly. In fact, if you were to shrink him down, he'd, he'd look slightly odd, but he looks like a pretty normal fellow. I mean, he's, you know, he's look at the size of the hand, though. I mean, would want to get hit with that. <laughs> guy who looks big. He looks like a normal proportioned human who's just large, just very large. Now, this guy, okay, the guy here in the back, that's what acromegaly looks like. You can see the distortions on the face, the thick brow, the big nose, the big jaw, the big that. That's, in my opinion, what they call acromegaly. That could be a disease. These other guys are something else. A genetic, are they... Um, genetic descendants of these actual giants they claimed it used to be there or claim that still roam in some of these caves and, and areas of Afghanistan and the Middle East oh big man Japan again <laughs> we won't get into him but uh, um, but that's what acromegaly looks like so there's a difference and some of these people that have seen these giants and talk about these giants claim they're the Nephilim from the Bible you know great powerful creatures that came down you know the the uh, almost angelic 
human hybrid uh, is what they are. If you, you look it up in Genesis, the that says the sons of God looked down on the daughters of man and thought they were beautiful and mated with them. And this is where we get many of the heroes and giant men of old. And they referred to these guys as the Nephilim. And uh, for lack of a better term, and um, you can get into the biblical scholarship and if you want and find exactly what the definition of the Nephilim is, but this kind of this this fits them better than anything else. So are these things Nephilim? Are they supernatural beings? Are they from a time that we have forgotten that was bigger and more incredible than we were? Uh, I don't mean, yeah, I mean, literally the time. It's like they, they lived in a world that was bigger and more magnificent and more dangerous and more monstrous than what we have now. A world of gods and monsters to a world of us we're just as evil as any devil you know humans can do that but that's when a lot of people believe that and they'll stick to their guns and they'll die on that hill then you've got scientists that say no this is just a genetic thing and it's you know they just happen to be genetically or biologically that way and they won't consider anything else it's just got to have that proof and nothing wrong if you're going to be if dying on a hill it's not bad to have a proof with that but you also got to be open-minded to find the proof now that's why you, you get into things like this that look pretty legit sometimes when you see a fake you feel a fake if you're looking at this and you feel a fake that's your that's your prerogative when i look at it I don't feel fake there, but um, that one kind of looks legit. I've seen footprints that look stupid and fake that people have carved under rocks, and they're like, you ain't, you ain't gonna, <laughs> I'm sorry, you selling, I ain't buying. But this one, this one seems to work for me. It gives me some evidence of something, you know, that might be there, possible evidence. But uh, there's so many of these stories of these things, and, and you got a history that's a region that's full of history of this in Afghanistan. They have one other thing I wanted to mention. They have their own Bigfoot, too. Everybody's got their own Bigfoot. We got, they call him uh, Barmanu. I guess Barmanu. Well, I know a lot of people. <laughs> I've been called Barmanu a few times when I refuse to leave at closing time. But no, Barmanu is like a primate, a Bigfoot type primate that also lives in the area. So I don't think these things are related to that. But uh, we'll discuss that yet another day. Is why now that we everybody has a camera, we haven't gotten really good pictures of a Bigfoot yet. But uh, anyway, that's another thing with their Barmanu. Let me wrap this up. This has been a longer than normal show because it's about giants, all right? Now, you all know what to do. Like, subscribe if you like. You, know, you can find my stuff on the links. But um, I'm going to wrap it up. And thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, stay safe. Um, stay strong. You know, hang in there. And, uh, you know, be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid. Just be vigilant, and you'll get through this. We'll all get through this. Take care.